Hey there, RD here from ProTradersNetwork.com and today I'm going to share with you some tips on how to draw the spot and resistance. Alright, some uh, information about myself. Basically, I've been trading and investing since uh, 1999 and started with uh, Singapore stocks and moved on to other financial assets. Uh, went through several crises in early 2000s where I saw the dot-com bust as well as 2018 financial crisis besides others okay so without further ado let's take a look at our first chart that we have here which is Matic also known as Polygon on a daily time frame so on when we actually draw uh, support and resistance we want to see that a certain level has been tested a couple of times right so this particular so when I want to draw a support or resistance first I will just uh, draw the lines uh, quickly and Alright, so here I have actually drawn several lines uh, and I continue draw, and I continue to draw another one here. Alright, so okay, then after that we can actually adjust the lines to see whether is that the best uh, point that we have. Okay, alright, so for this point here, basically I adjust it a bit to the upside so that it can cover this particular touch point and another touch point here. Alright and for this particular resistance okay basically there is only one at the highest point on the left side and after that we have a breakout right usually price may retrace after it has found a certain high but in this point retrace back to i mean retrace back to a former resistance and support but in this case it did not because you know it just stopped here and then moved up to that all right so another support level we have is here all right which is a formal resistance it's somewhere on the 30th of april and this is another resistance but it's not it's not actually a very strong resistance i would say this is more of like a minor resistance and here we have another resistance and of course our all-time high at this point so this is how you draw support and resistance and you just basically the best is if you have two points which have actually uh, tested that particular line before and you can see clearly that okay this is a support level however there are times when market starts to trend and you see a point that is jutting out right so like this point is jutting out right this point as well so this can also be support and resistance levels right once uh, price have actually retraced lower and it's going up right now like in Matich as we see here price can actually go up and test this particular resistance so that could be the magnet I call it the price magnet right the price magnet is a price level where price actually tends to go towards right before it may reverse okay i i wouldn't say that it will but it may reverse from that particular point so this is also one way uh, how i trade the markets right basically if i see a price magnet somewhere around here and price is still going up but has not touched it yet okay there is an opportunity for a buy trade right and okay that's another topic for another video uh, for this particular video we're just going to talk about support and resistance so let's go on to the next chart we want to see how we draw support and resist resistance on various markets and time frames so our next uh, chart is going to be amazon all right on the daily time frame so let me just draw the lines all right roughly one line here one line over here and another over here Okay, so you can see that I do not use take too much time when actually drawing my support and resistance levels. But for your information, this support drawing support and resistance levels on your chart is super important, right? Basically, we have traders, big banks, institutions that are trading the markets using these levels, right? And okay, so after I've, I have actually quickly. Uh, put down uh, basically mark the charts with these horizontal spot and resistance levels you can further do some adjustment right so in this case you want two points to be touching and in this case you can actually lower it a little bit so that this point gets uh, is in play as well is taken into account and again we can actually uh, increase this particular level so that's you have more points touching it 
here we have okay the resistance point which is like a which is jutting out right which i have mentioned to you guys now is just a single point and then lower we actually have okay uh, this particular resistance level and touching three points and this particular level which uh, let me just adjust it so that more points touch it all right so as you can see this particular support level one two three okay it was once formerly a resistance and when once it breaks above it becomes support and it was tested about four times right before price actually uh retest higher levels and at this point you see there's one two uh in this case it broke it fell back in lower and again when it once it goes back into this horizontal range is it was retested uh, twice right before it break out uh, from this particular horizontal sideways range all right so moving higher in this chart you can see that this particular support level has been tested one two three four five times right and higher we can see that it, this particular resistance level has been tested four times before we see a breakout and it was tested once again uh, where it actually flipped its role from resistance to support right so i hope that uh, you can see how actually uh, support and resistance lines are drawn and as you i would like to highlight as well that if a particular resistance or support level uh, has been tested uh, a couple more uh, uh, more frequently than other levels it might actually weaken like in this case we had this particular resistance level being tested four times before uh, price actually managed to break through well i guess that's another um, uh, video for me to explain on how support and resistance levels can actually weaken when it's been tested more frequently all right so we can move on now to the next chart all right uh we go on to silver on the h4 right so silver on the h4 support and resistance can also be drawn on all time frames yeah and for silver okay let's start drawing the horizontal lines one here you can draw one there right another one there another one and a support level over there another support level over here all right so as you can see let's start from the top i have actually drawn this level here this resistance level well it was tested one two three times right and we can shift this particular support level all right so that we can mark all the times that it was tested and this particular resistance level right it was te tested a couple of times one two you can see it, it actually tested a support here as well right and then once price goes into the range it became resistance right so let's look at the other line and here we see uh, this level being tested as support twice a little bit here third time before the next candle actually broke lower and then it's tested as support again here again here it actually went up but fell back below uh, a couple of candles later All right and this particular support level which is actually tested i think twice once uh here and then another time here right and it broke out here so this particular level again support second first time second time and third time it actually broke through but then after that it went back up so guys this is how you draw the spot and resistance level i hope that it's quite clear we'll go on to the last chart and i'm going to illustrate i'm going to show you how i draw the support and resistance level on a forex pair which is the nzd yen on the one hour time frame all right so let's just plot the charts the chart with uh, lines again we have uh, one line over there support here and, and of course this is something that is uh, jutting out okay and another one here all right so at this level we have one two points 
tested as resistance and then here we have it tested once here second and it broke out and retested and back and i guess price went back in right so it invalidated this particular uh, resistance level and you can also see that uh, okay we can actually draw one line here as well as another one here all right so for this one you can see that it acted as support in the past it was a resistance point here before all right and it became support here but you can see that price went through a couple of times here and invalidated this point but when it uh, rose above it this particular line somewhere in august this year it acted as support and at, at this point in time you can see that it's uh, being invalidated and price is actually moving lower from there right so we can see the next support level at this level at this point here right you can see that it was uh, kind of like tested quite a long quite a, a couple of times okay a while back and we can see the next support level here here and here you can see I'm, I'm just drawing actually these points so that you can see that uh, it has been tested a couple of times and of course this is one which shows you know uh price actually jutting out from that spot and usually it can signal a uh, reversal for that particular asset class all right so i hope that you guys have actually learned something here on how to draw support and resistance it's actually quite simple it will take some practice but you'll get there and yeah uh, lots of traders are actually using just support and resistance to trade and not only on a one hour time frame like i said it can work on any other time frames even on higher time frames but it's good that's one tip that i would like to give you a bonus tip today if you are trading the h1 chart for example you need to pay more attention to the spot and resistance levels on the h4 right so if you are basically trading on the 15 minute chart give you need to also plot the support and resistance on the one hour chart and always remember that whatever uh, time, time frame that you are trading uh, give uh, much more uh, importance to those levels that uh, can be found in the higher time frames right so that is one particular tip for for you guys out there and hope you guys actually trade well this week and get those profits right so that's it uh, do leave some comments down there if you have some questions so that i can have to answer and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and thank you very much for actually tuning in to protest network videos and hope to see you in the next video rd signing out